Hello everyone, this is Zebo and welcome to yet another AFK journey video. So um, today's video, we'll talk about another very highly sought after topic and that is Arena. So for Arena, it's a topic which I think is quite um, broad. There's a lot of things I can talk about and I figured I will do like a Arena basic guide for beginners, newcomers, the early mid game players. And then I'll probably do a more advanced ones for players who are already getting like maxed out units or players with you know they spend a lot and their units are really strong so they want to know what's the meta team what's the final form and then i also maybe make another video for the different meta teams in the current meta you know what they're strong at what they're maybe not so strong at and then talk about um the different teams and strategies you can abuse accordingly so i think in arena's case right let's put it this way offense as well as defense they are very different by nature so let's start with defense first as a beginner this is how my record looks like so as a free to play player in a really competitive server i think this account i featured many many times i'm in server one while well, the server with like a lot of spenders so it's very active but it's very competitive so as a free to play player this is probably the hell mode that you want to ask for and it's not going to be easy right moving forward because the guys on top they're probably going to have better units than you but is there a way for you to enjoy the game as somebody who's maybe not so strong in your server the answer is yes i think for myself i find some form of joy in winning matches which i usually might lose so if you take a look at some of this defense over here right i haven't attacked anybody today but there are people that attack me because i'm pretty weak but i managed to win so let's take a look at the records itself so this is my team these are units i'm using and then we have this enemy team which is using way higher rarity units than me so obviously his team synergy is not very very strong and even if you have the higher quality units he lost so that's how i actually feel good about it right because you managed to win uh some of the matches which you you probably thought you can't right and you know sometimes when people have like really strong units and they are way stronger than you but they still lose to you that feeling is actually quite good as well so this as you guys can see this guy is definitely way stronger than me right Five hundred thousand with much higher quality units compared to me and then we have uh, this guy over here so overall yeah they all have stronger units than me right they have our dear uh, monthly pass over here but uh, for me because i'm a more experienced player so i understand the meta a little better i know the mechanics a little better so i can abuse it to my advantage but in general as a new player as somebody who uh just started the game and you have limited uh units the defense can be very satisfying when your strategy actually works so how does defense actually work so let me just set all these units to the highest level first okay so let's just set torrent set this one set team major up and then set row one here okay so let's move back to arena so for the defense side right if you go into the defense you can set up the units that you want to use in a defense based on the different maps you choose so the map you choose as well as the units you choose will be what your enemies will see so the fun part is you can adjust this at any point in time right any other day as long as you have the units to play around i'll say in general defense will be less fun than offense because uh, usually people just use your strongest unit for defense and offensive is uh the fun part because you actually break other people's formation from there so uh, that's what i mean by fun in terms of uh, arena's portion right so whatever i do on the defense and offense could be really different but for a free to play player or a new player or somebody who doesn't have a lot of units usually defensive units you have to build around the strongest few units that you're investing so for me let me explain the rationale right i think i'll just start with the strongest unit that everybody will run which is torrent like this unit is just very very powerful in arena and one of the most meta units um he's way more meta than any other unit because i think any team out there will want to put him in the team in early mid to late and a lot of teams in the late game are built around being able to bring down torrent fast enough so this unit is really powerful even in if you have a lot of counter for him then obviously we're gonna put in sincere right sincere no matter what as long as she can summon her ultimate he's gonna be quite busted and then we're gonna complete the faction bonus with our dear uh viperion over here very very good uh, arena unit with the aoe damage from the spell as well as the ability to slow the energy of the enemies so if uh, you have your core set up okay let's think about how to make your team stronger so my way of making my team stronger is using rowan 
which sort of charges up my whole team's energy much faster. And Rowan is an amazing partner to see here as always, right? And I mentioned multiple times. So that's for the four units. And then the last unit, you can choose to use a Grave 1 unit, right? You need not have a faction bonus. You can choose to use Koka if you really want, but obviously having the faction bonus might be pretty decent. But I think we can stick to this because this is a very complete team which fits in a lot of ideas, which I'll say is quite advantageous, at least in the early to mid stage. So you have control, right? You have AOE damage, you have energy cycling, you have an amazing tank, pretty decent setup. So even if you're lowly stated, I think this should still be a pretty sound arena team. So when you're done with what you have, you just press save formation. Oh, before that, I also run the enlightening spell because enlightening spell in the early game has one of the best stats distribution as well as one well of the best buff for Cecil as the main carry. So as you guys can see, Cecil is still the main carry of the team. So even if I don't train her up, I still use her in arena because uh, I have to admit that she's quite decent, uh, at least at where I am right now. So I'll just use whatever units you have, use your best units for this game mode. And that's for the defensive portion. So with next, let us, uh, with these, let us move on to the next portion. So how do you attack as a free to play player? Uh, first of all, you can take a look at your enemy's team setup and what they run, and then you formulate how can I actually deal with this comp. Okay, so there's a lot of different strategies and uh, you can deal with people that are stronger than you. You can obviously deal with people that are weaker than you and have weaker comps. But sometimes if you take a look at the comp and you're confident that you're able to break it, then you take the chance to challenge it. So honestly speaking, this comp might look really, really scary. And the power difference is really big, but I'm just going to give you guys uh, a glimpse as to how offense can be really, really fun. By the way, I need to adjust the level of Sylvina. So Sylvina is a really, really good uh, sniper. So we're going to put Sylvina's level up so that you can snap off somebody. So in terms of offense, right, like some units are just better. Assassin's character or people with the ability to snipe or units with the ability to snipe off certain targets. It's gonna be very very precious so as you guys can see the team setup is roughly the same but instead of to i re i use sylvina instead because sylvina is stronger on the offense and it gives me a four one buff so more stats for my whole team and then the same uh, the setup is roughly the same the reason is because i think at least with what i have right now this is the strongest team i come with and if i take a look at the enemy side right there's actually one unit which Sylvina can snipe and that is obviously our dearest Rowan on the other end. So the enemy has a very similar strategy to us which is to try to Rowan cycle as fast as possible and because he got confining spell right which sort of limits two of my units using enlightening spell is actually really good because one of my units will not get CC'd. So with that let us see whether or not we win right. So let's go. Okay so doing the thing that I expect. So Sylvina is sniping the back line, disrupting the enemy Rowan. So my 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 CCR is using the ultimate slower, unfortunately. I guess because uh, his CCR has a battle stats, so his CCR is going to come up faster. But I'll say this is a good attempt because I think if we had snipe off the Rowan, if the enemy side didn't get off the Rowan, he probably might not have won this and I'll probably be the one winning. So yeah, there's just a little bit of trial and error. So I'm going to do two more runs to demonstrate how offense can be really fun as well. So we continue the search to see whether or not there's an easy target we can go after. So as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of CCs out there. And this guy might seem really strong with 93k as well as two mythic unit. But I'll tell you guys, uh, this relic over here, this healing relic, it sucks. It's one of the worst relic in the game. So he's actually a pretty easy target. So uh, I'm going to try to um, think of how to snipe this guy and then see whether or not my strategy works. So right here, I'm going to put uh, this one. Do I want to deal with... No, I don't think I need to deal with the... Yeah, I don't think I need to deal with uh, CCR specifically. As long as my CCR gets out the ultimate, I think I'm fine. So for this case, right, what I will do is I'm going to put in Heaven. So Heaven is going to ensure slightly more buff. But before that, let's just do some level adjustments as usual. So this is a uh, level manipulation because the level of my units, they are not equal. So this is something which uh, a little bit cumbersome. You don't have to do what I do, but if you want to min max, you can do it. So we're going to go back into the opponent. So the game plan of the opponent uh, is just to overpower me, I guess. 
right with a, a bunch of good buffs as well as good units but there's no faction synergy so his team is not all that scary and at the same time his cc is going to be slower than my cc because my cc has the attack speed buff from my lightning spell as well as the rowan cycle so i'm just going to put in heaven because i think as long as i survive and i can um, do what i want to do i'll win this fight so let's start so as you guys can see I actually get a buff right here so the torrent is actually targeting my cc which is kind of unfortunate but here goes my uh, rowan cycling i probably want to put heroin at the bottom left hand side so it gets uh, covered okay so my cc got the ultimate off as you guys can see so his cc also got the ultimate off but fortunately enough his cc is looking really really low and my cycling has already begun so i think we should have this game in the match yeah we should have this game in the back so one thing which I think I probably forgot about is blocking the torrent from coming to my backline because there's this open path over here. So this is the strategizing part for arena offense. Pretty, pretty cool, right? So in the early stages of the game, I don't think many people will have uh, like the meta units, the most hard to deal with annoying units. So I think there's still a lot of fun to discover, you know, what comms actually work and how you can actually break the formation of the enemy. So I'm just going to do one more run to also show you guys how i usually uh i usually like plan who i want to attack and you know who to choose and stuff so obviously you take a look at this guy this guy is like a bunch of super powerful units <laughs> and his power is like three times of mine clearly there's no way you can win him right is there a chance i can win him uh maybe if my if my strategy is really really powerful and his strategy is really really bad but in most cases with such a big power difference there's no way in the arena so i'll be a more uh, i'll say like smart guy because my goal is to win so this is challenger there's a few there's a few bots in the arena which i think you guys should definitely go after because these bots actually give a lot of points but i'm not gonna hit the bot because their comps are usually not very good and they don't have any artifacts in place so i'm gonna hit a normal player to show you guys the theory crafting portion so this guy had uh, has a mythic plus baron but the team looks really weak not gonna bully him uh we gonna go yeah so we're gonna go with this one so free go caldo so um in this match i'm gonna showcase why the light bringers are pretty weak okay so why is light bringer not good because grave one is just too strong you guys seen how many people using cc and you see how many people using torrent so the elemental countering is still there and yes maybe the 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 opponent might have a might have a really powerful calm right full light bringer seem really really powerful but now these units are especially threatening maybe to measure as well as uh, rowan and uh, vala okay maybe vala and rowan to measure is okay because if you have control in your team she's not very scary so same thing i'm gonna uh, do the same idea like you guys can see i don't change my comms too much because i just don't have the units right so instead i'm gonna use uh, sylvina to try to snipe off vala and see the results let's go okay so uh, sylvina is sticking into vala okay so the rowan started cycling first but fortunately for me his team doesn't have a massive ultimate user like ccl for example so it's not all that scary but the vala stacking up is getting scarier and scarier so we might actually lose because the vala is really powerful right so this is where vala is actually really really powerful because as you guys can see she can actually snap off teams if you don't deal with her well enough so yeah that's uh i'll say pretty much it can i can i win this match i think i should be able to i think if i change out my positions a little or oh, look at torrent guys look torrent oh wait we haven't lost yet but it's unlikely we win because it's one versus two yeah i think i think um my mistake was not addressing the vala fast enough and not giving my sylvanas level so let's see whether or not we can find a guy again i'm confident i will be able to win this time around with uh the same formation with better positioning so can i find the same guy again oh wait we have some really juicy targets over here that have really high points and they have not a powerful team right so this is what i mean by not a so powerful team 
yes, you do have very high uh, quality units, but there's zero synergy in the team, and they do have the Rowan and Cecil combo, but I'm confident I can beat it. So I'm going to go after the higher points guy because uh, I get more rewards doing that. So let's see, let's see. We're going to do this, try to snap off the, the Rowan, I guess. I'm going to try to snap off. And then I'm going to position CC in front so that my Sylvana gets the buff. But the thing is, Sylvana is going to get taunted by Brutus, which is really, really bad. So I don't think I want to focus on Sylvana offense too much. Uh, I think we can do this. But what happens is that... um, Yeah, it's tough. The positioning is tough. I think we do this. Yeah, we, we do this. Because if I do this... The Vala is going to target Cecil. So this is what I mean by you plan your attack. So I don't know whether or not I can win because uh, there's a lot of... Uh... Actually, Viperion might be okay. Yeah, because Viperion can heal hurt himself. Although he's going to lose the ultimate. But um, yeah, just let's start. Okay, so Cecil still going to get the enhancement buff. I think Cecil is just really powerful in the early game. But before... Oh yeah, we managed to snap off the Rowan. So Sylvana did her job really, really good there. Then uh, Vampiro has the ability to recover HP. So my plan is working out as you guys can see. So Sylvina manages to hit the, the Cecil. And then we win from there. Well, easy. <laughs> okay, but anyway, this is the fun part of Arena, right? So you lose some, you win some. And I'll say for those of you guys who are in the early stages of the game, do try the game mode out. Know about the different mechanics. Try to know the skill set of the enemy. Obviously, you're going to see a lot of Cecil. And as you guys can see, even for somebody as experienced like me, I still lose matches on a daily basis as well, right? Due to stats, due to my own personal mistakes. But I think making mistakes is not the scary part, right? The scary part is afraid of making mistakes. And I, I think this applies to Arena as a whole because sometimes you see somebody with such a good unit a strong unit you'll think that hey i cannot do it but if you understand the game if you understand the mechanic then you'll think that hey, this team is really lousy so yeah that's pretty much it for this video it's just a very beginner arena guide for you guys thank you very much for watching remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys